Hey, what's going on guys? Bflatten here with a brand new video today. Today we're going to be talking about the Schluter artifact that dropped in the new vault card. Welcome to Pandora. Now the Schluter artifact is a really, really, really good artifact. It brings back the old world drop uh, rates just by having it in your hand. Uh, it is a duration of 12 seconds for 1000% legendary world drop rates. It does not affect dedicated drops, uh, but on kill you get a dramatic increase of this. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be talking about the Schluter artifact that uh, some things may not be known about it. So one thing is that it's supposed to work with vendors. However, I've never figured out the trigger for it. I've done a lot of testing on uh, vendor triggers and I have not seen to get it uh, working consistently. So it should work with vendors. However, I have no idea how to get that to work. So what we're going to do I'm just going to go to my favorite farming spot because there's a couple things to talk about here. Uh, this is for class mods during the week of Pandora, if you did not know. I use uh, Truffle Munch, Butt Munch, and uh, um, this little camp over here because there's anointed enemies that could appear here. Three badasses that will always be here, and a bunch of mobs as well. So the cool thing in the, uh, about the Schluter as well is that it says on kill. Now, it doesn't say on an enemy kill. It doesn't say on a... Uh, badass killed anything it just says on kill so anything that has a uh, health bar anything that has HP value to it it should proc it as well so this is going to be including things like barrels this is going to be including things like your own vehicle as I'm about to show the Schluter artifact once you know it is uh, active will be uh, showing some green on the side of your uh, screen so when I kill my own cyclone here you'll see that the green actually appears next to my character so because of this, that means I know that the Schluter artifact is going to be procced just before entering this area, and a lot of legendaries are going to start appearing. Now, anointed enemies. I had this question uh, brought up to me a couple times already. When should you, um, when should you get the most effectiveness of your Schluter artifact on the anointed enemies? Now. Some people were saying that it's whenever you kill them. Some people were saying that it's whenever you break them. I can confirm after testing, it is whenever you break the uh, anointed enemies. So you got to make sure your shooter artifact is active before breaking the, sh uh, the enemy. You get more legendaries out of it for the loot the universe event. That's when the loot pile is determined, is when uh, the enemy uh, is actually broken, not when he's killed. So you got to make sure something dies before you break those anointed enemies in order to uh, get the most effectiveness out of it. Now, the other thing, I'm going to take you guys over to uh, Ellie's Garage. Now, the reason why we're going over to Ellie's Garage is because there's one more thing that the Schluter Artifact also works with that uh, may not be known previously. So there's a really cool spot right behind Ellie's Garage. Um... That will be helpful for this if you don't want to do the butt munch truffle munch area this is also a good spot and i'm going to show you why so we're going to go all the way up to the top of the mountain behind ellie's garage because there is a, a toilet chest up there and there's a red chest up there the reason why we want to uh go to those is because we want to activate our schluter before opening the chest reason being the schluter does work on uh uh, chest openings. So whenever you open up a chest, you will have the opportunity to get a bunch of legendaries out of there as well. Don't mind me and fight for my life. Common occurrence is uh, FL4, because FL4 bad. Go ahead and kill that nerd really quickly. There we go. My shooter is active. I might actually be able to go and get this. I have about 12 seconds to get it. Let's see. Looter's still active. That's not the red chest. That is. Okay, my shooter was not active, so I only got a Hellwalker out of there. This one is still a chest, so we can get a, a legendary out of there. Throw some hunter seekers out. We'll see if we can get uh, see if we can get that to work this time. Get Schluter active. See if I can make it this time. And we're going to make it. So, double legendary appeared while I had my Schluter active. I have tested this a bunch of times already previously, 
every single time that I had my shooter active, this thing was decked out with legendaries, usually four, and this is always going to spawn at least one or two. Um, the toilet itself is going to spawn ammo or a grenade or something random like that, because I can't actually have a legendary in there. But the side of the toilet itself will give you legendaries. So if there's a spot that you know that has a uh, chest next to it and a bunch of mobs, anointed enemies, then yeah, absolutely go for it. And uh, open that with your shooter being active. Now another good spot is of course slaughter shafts. Slaughter shafts with the shooter active will probably uh, give you, uh, on average for me, it was about 40 to 50 uh, legendaries out of it. But if you're just looking for generic... Uh, Generic world drops, that is a good spot for it. That's actually a decent friend bot. Now, if you haven't seen the Loot the Universe uh, video yet, I'll probably toss a link in here already. It's discussing where Pandora is dropping everything. Expect that every single Thursday for Loot the Universe or uh, the new changeovers. Uh, utilize the Schluter. It's really, really good for this event. Of course, it works with chests. It's supposed to work with vendors. And uh, on anointed uh, break, that's when it works. So go ahead and use the shooter to your uh, maximum efficiency. My name is B Flend, and I'm signing on out of here. Take care, all. Later's.